Hello and welcome to an update of Minecraft Let's Present series and this world is Yorkshire and I want to give you a tour I'm featuring a new video camera to the screen not the webcam that I've been using so hopefully the quality of this video will be of more suitable use to those who are complaining about the quality Anyway, as you're looking at the town hall, you may notice a few new items added. I added some lamp posts with some burning uh, torch inside. You'd see them better at night, but they're also running during the day. Down here, I've also added these grates going to a possible sewer in the future. This medieval nil villa, I call this Yorkshire. I do plan on making another town in this world eventually. Um, since the last update, the last video, this is being done on 10-29, October 29th. Gives you an idea as to the difference between this video and the last one you saw of this world and there are villagers in this world as you can see there but you can also see that the climate has changed since the updates as you can see we have now a snow biome has moved into this area and coincidentally the snow biome happened to occur in the area where there was a uh, the dark spruce trees where it's meant to be you can see it has changed up the way the landscapes look and if you have a look over here I've also changed up some of the roads to make them look as realistic as possible we have a, uh, instead of them being cut off immediately, they ripple. Like with the environment, they'll ripple into place. But once you get to this point, the roads are covered with the snow. No, None of the plowing has been done in this area. You can see the windmills aren't doing their job at the moment because it's winter here. But if I followed the road... The road is somewhere in this area, and I'm fine with that. I've even added, for the most part, snow where there had to be snow, because where it didn't snow is where these blades are. It didn't accumulate at all. There's one place I missed, but for the most part, I got the rest of them. Come out to this area. You can see I've been working on the farming. And over this way is a farm. We got a tractor and carts to carry the goods in. Down here we got the crane lowering goods or a pallet into the back of this cart. And this cart is a rather big cart, as you can see. It's meant to go over tall terrain. I look up here like this. I won't do this too much with the hovering, but just give you a glimpse of what it looks like from above. You can see the crane. computer screen went a little bit dark there and I want to make sure that uh, it didn't affect the video. You can see the walls and more root to life. 
we head back to this path. This is the barn. What well, it does it come around this corner? A couple more carts there if you notice. Three of them. These are fun to make too. Enjoy making vehicles. So coming down here we now have set up a farm. Here's the uh, barn portion. The door. Rather huge door that is. Walk in here. Hopefully it's not too dark for you guys. We have the animals. Animals in their pens. Got the dispensers there so that if they happen to just spawn for any reason, you can uh, create more with the eggs in the dispensers. I tried to set this up to look exactly like a barn. I think it did a pretty good job. If we can, add some tools to the wall. Up here. This is one way to control the crane. Have these wheels here that you can uh, turn direction. Levers. Yeah, adding little details to this, to your worlds. This is what the inspiration is about. And it adds depth and character as well. You got hay bundles. Over here is another crane. This is what we call a worker's barn. The wall going around it. A weight on this end, a weight of obsidian, how convenient <laughs> to keep it balanced. Then another crane right out front here. It's turning night, but we can still show you the area at night. Come over this way. I believe the road ends around here, so we'd have to turn back. Out in this area will eventually be what we call another village. I'd probably name it after a ham as opposed to a shear. Just showing you the overall look of some of the garden here around the windmill. It wasn't here before. Let's walk through it. And you wonder, how in the world do these trees not grow? Well, how come they haven't grown? They're in a wide open space here. Well, you till underneath, and then plant the sapling, and that keeps them from growing. If you're ever wondering, how do I make it so that trees don't grow next to my house? That's the way to do it. You can even climb these walls <laughs> a little bit here. But as you can see, this whole area is winter. Was not expecting it to turn winter this early. <laughs> Even this uh, well. I'll show you the overview. You can see the landscapes have changed to a degree, but if the snow ever disappeared, I'll show you it when it's summer. Luckily now you can run and it won't actually frame drop. I am so happy about that. wanted to turn up the brightness a little bit. It looked a little dark, 
that's what happens when you use another type of video camera. I'll try to RP this as best I can from here on out. So I'll put a sign saying Yorkshire. A lot of these uh, lamps, this took quite a bit of time to do. Placing upside down stairs in Xbox compared to the PC, you have to aim it directly up at the ceiling. So it makes it more time consuming to place upside down stairs. You have to have a block above it or a lamp post or something of that nature right above it. Anyway, as we head down here, we're going to take a look at this store. I can hear the noise. McAdams District Store, ID required for purchase. This place was incomplete when I was here last time. I finished it. be wondering where that noise is coming from, or the musics. <laughs> this one's not going though, but we can make it go. Heading back out, we'll head down this way to see the path continuing on until we get to a small shoreline. Right here is another heavy duty cart to haul the haze or the livestock. You choose. There's that lighthouse in the middle of a lake that my friend did a while back. Well, since the last time I showed this world, there was no such thing as upside down stairs, chisel brick, or the different new type of wood. So it's nice to see jungle wood now in play. So we can see the tents here. Heading over this way, it's even uh, gone snowy around this portion. And some people are like, when they see snow in their area, they automatically give up on the map. But I try to work with the snow. I try to work to make it last, make this map last. When it snows, it snows, and you just have to put up with it, even if it may doesn't make your map look too well. Just had my screen go black for some reason, but as we move along here, we see we're coming to the marketplace, and this was in the process to be done. And it is currently behind the town hall, and it'll always be that way.